of IFO fans, if you're new to the channel, I am Keegan Macy and this is Black Thunder and we are having breakfast, which today here in Baton Rouge is Manly Donuts. with me IFO. It ain't a cool car if it's not a Type R. And we're in one right now. My man, what's your name? Eli. What's going on? Eli, uh, tell me about what year and exactly what we're in. We're in a 2019 Type R. Uh, she's fully bolted and bagged. So ladies, did you know you're in a fully bolted and bagged oh, Type R? I, I'm sorry. What, what, what are y'all paying attention to back there? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're going to try to have a conversation about this badass Type R while that's going on back there. So we're going to get everybody in the shot. All right. So tell me everything that we're looking at on this car. So basically you got all the bolt-ons on the car, the engine base full of carbon fiber. Um, got the travel case on top, which you don't see a lot of cars with them on. It's bagged. There's probably like seven bag type bars. The car's actually been down the track too. Um, they put a line for me and we went down the track like 16 times. Um, I wanted to do this event, but then I would have to take off the travel case and all that stuff. Don't want anything going wrong. Actually messed up my bumper on the way here, but I had to still full send it anyways. So, so you're dedicated. Dedicated. What's the horsepower on your Type R right now? Uh, I am at 375 right now and 370 torque. What, we used to come stock with 330 or 303. I know there's threes in there. It's like it's like 330 around there. Okay, we'll just say that we're both right. So All right, go. Ultimate goal, like, what do you want to uh, do? Like, by the time if you could have your Type R exactly how you want it, around 500. Where would you be? 500 wheel horsepower. Okay, going for 500. All right, my man, going for the true five. All right, so tell me, if I were to sit down right now and put a blank check in front of you, what would it take to sell me to buy this car from you? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? You're attached to the car. Yeah, I love this I car. love that. That means a lot. And how much for the dog? No. Oh, okay. All right. That's a good sell. I think I'd sell my car for a You're coming home with us. <laughs> This time you don't have to look at me. We're gonna talk to Frank and Danielle. And Frank, what are we looking at right here? Looking at it. Louder, Supra. Frank. <laughs> a Toyota Supra. It's a Toyota Supra. I've heard of those. Danielle, I don't think who's right here. I don't think Danielle knows what a Toyota Supra is never or why. Why it's her. so cool. What do you know about a Toyota Supra, Danielle? Uh, it's not, I've never heard of her. I don't know her. Danielle, what do you yeah. drive? Honda Accord. She drives a Honda. Okay. Nice. So I want you to educate our Honda model on why the Supra is the Supra. Pretty much. Louder! Nostalgic. Nostalgic. It's a nostalgic car, you know, uh, made famous by Fast and the Furious Part 1. Uh, I fell in love with it, and I told myself when I bought it, I'm going to keep it clean. Well, it started off with valve caps, and now the whole motor and the whole car has been completely rebuilt. <laughs> and what are we looking at here under the engine? Because that is not a stock turbo. I'm going to show some love to my engine builders, uh, Brangers. They, uh, this is a fully built motor. Bangers? Brangers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think I've been on that website. I think I know the brother. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, the whole thing, it's, it's ready to go. It's pretty much a full full race engine now. Um, I'm cranking about a little under 1,000 with 85, and I'm hoping to scratch a dangerous 600 on pump. That's insane. What size turbo are we looking at? 6870 ball bearing precision. All right, Danielle, I want you to point out the turbo on this car. Oh, no problem. It's shiny. Faster, Danielle. No, All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I think she's right. Point to it. Point no. to it. Sir, can you tell me what she's pointing at? That would be the intake manifold. That is the intake manifold, Danielle. That is almost the turbo. Right, would you mind would you mind pointing out the turbo on this Mark IV Supra for our lovely model? There you go. All right, I was 
<laughs> so Danielle, is that turbo big enough for you? You know it's not. Okay, oh, I love the man. answer. I love the answer. All right, my man, tell me what's next for this car, if anything. Well, now that all the hard, greasy part is done, I'm gonna repaint the whole car, sending it back to the body shop, gonna mold the kit and flip the coin, rather than I'll do wide body. Still playing with that idea. And I got a question for you, Danielle, come here. So Danielle brought with her her checkbook today. Now you get in the shot too, you're also a beautiful person. Danielle brought her checkbook today. If she put down a check in front of you, blank, what would it take for me to buy this car from you right now? Ooh, my not for sale price, we're looking at about 78K. 78K, Danielle, you ready to write that check? If, don't cash it today, don't cash it. So, what what do you think that is? Well, now I believe it because from afar it kind of looked like a smart car. It's it, from afar. From afar, it looked like a smart car. Um, so, uh, uh, what do you think this is? Like a little science smart car. Right? We're getting closer to the answer. All right, I need the owner operator. I'm gonna go over here and just start yelling for owner. I need the owner operator of the the uh, the newest Hummer to hit the market. My man, what's your name? Yeah. Jack, I'm Keegan from IFO. Let me get a little fist bump here, a little COVID bump. So tell me about what our girls can't figure out what that is. They keep saying smart car. It's not a smart car. No, it's a Cyan IQ. It's a 2014. I don't keep up with small things. Oh. She doesn't keep up with small things, which is why she, which is why she already forgot our name. Yeah, she already forgot her name. I, I think I feel like you have a lot of money considering you wrapped it with carbon fiber. Because so. yeah. carbon fiber is not cheap. No, it's not. That's why I did all my stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have you actually talk loud and tell me all the cool stuff that's on this car. So this thing has everything is custom made by me. Uh, it has a okay, yeah, custom white body made by me. Uh, it has wheel big brake kits on all four corners. Uh, it's so, a you, car. so you said wide body. So for this car to be wide body, what is it like 26 inches wide now? Nah. Yeah, a little bit about four inches wide on corners. So it's, okay. It's All right, so I'm going to ask you this, and I might be the first person to ask you this. How many necks do you snap driving that? A lot. A lot. Hold on, hold on. So <laughs> you're six foot. I'm six two. Yeah. How tall are you? Oh, uh, you both of us. So, how, can you, can you get in and out of this car? Like, does yeah. that work? Yeah. Can I, I, I want to see you getting in the car. Wait, can I? Alright, now I want to see Big Man get in. I want to see Big Man get in this car. I would like to point out, he has three black ice air fresheners on his steering wheel. Oh my god, you fit! You fit, hold on. Alright, we're getting in this thing. Squeeze, 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 and... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I strike out everything I said. This has more room in it than I. This feels like like a like a Scion XB. Like this is big. You remember that movie Narnia when you go in the closet? And you oh say, well, yeah. This is, pretty much the same. this is the wardrobe from yeah, Narnia. This is the wardrobe. Cool. I'll be looking for the lion. My man, what's your name again? Jack. Jack. Dude, and one last question for you. How many horsepower is this thing pushing? Right now it's about 110, but I, I am planning to do a swap. It's pushing 110. These cars are 94 horsepower stock? No, 80. Actually. 80 horsepower it's stock. A, it's a lot you know what? There's nothing better I can end with than that. My little own art creation and stuff like that. I got a titanium exhaust, a custom rear diffuser, so that was a one-off. Uh, I do have some uh, art 
arc uh, LED lights. Those are kind of rare, special, and definitely some car shop glows. Those are definitely rare, special. Out of all the exotics you could have, why did you choose this car? So back when I was younger, uh, this car was my dream car. It's just, it's nostalgic, you know? It always, it takes, when I drive the car, it doesn't have new technology and everything. But it brings back memory. It makes me feel good and warm inside when I drive it. It's not a fast car. It's not necessarily uh, a Lamborghini or anything. But, you know, it drives really good. Great for track. And it just put a smile on everybody's face and everybody likes to ask, what is that? Or they just tell me, is it a Ferrari? That's so, it. <laughs> since you have this car, I'm gonna tell you my favorite part about this car. It's the headlights. What's up, IFO fans? We are here inside the Freedom Stang, the Freedom Stang, right? That's right. All right, and who are we here with? Uh, Scott Perry. Scott Perry, I'm Keegan. It's a pleasure. I'm gonna give you a little uh, fist bump here. Now we're here inside of a coupe, so it's a little tight, but it's also actually it's pretty freaking tight. So tell me about this car and everything that we're looking at and all the cool new stuff. Oh, uh, where do I start? What? Uh, it, all right. So th there's. When you're 50 meters away from this car, excuse me. When you're when you're 50 yards, this is America, damn it, away from this car, walking up to it uh, in a crowd, you immediately notice it. Uh, tell me what inspired everything we're looking at. Okay, the inspiration comes from my father and my father-in-law. Both were veterans. Um, I also work with a lot of veterans and active duty folks uh, in my jobs. Have have done uh, that for about 12 years now. So. The motivation started when my dad passed. He, he nothing, nothing tragic or anything. He lived a great life, so thank for that. But that's when it began. Uh, so I, I did a tribute to him, and then I included my father-in-law as well. My my wife's dad was in Vietnam, um, so I wanted to just tribute them both. And then I also wanted to pay tribute to all veterans and service members from every branch so that's how it began and I started with the, the vinyl wrap and went from there and I uh, just kept going and kept adding adding color and flags yeah there's a know, wherever there's I a, could there's a there's a American flags all over this thing like guys check this out like see like there's not a door open right there it's because it goes up you got we have the, the Lambo scissor doors on here and what's going on under the hood you can't just have america car without having something badass it, under the hood right this is a four five liter v8 but it is not a factory engine it's it's a ford racing five liter uh all forged internals it's got a very large vortex supercharger on it uh, it makes a thousand and twenty one horsepower at the rear wheels and I just want to say that's wild for a show car we got a race a thousand horsepower for a race car guys is kind of run-of-the-mill nowadays we have cars that are in the seven seconds all day long but yep. for a show car it looks like this to still be over a thousand horsepower I mean that's 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 freedom if I were to put down a blank check right now for this car what number would I have to put down for you to sell me this car as is uh, gosh, 250k, quarter million dollar Freedom Stang. I love it. Look, I'm a, I, I don't even know what to say about this car that, that can't be said just by looking at it. Uh, thank you for allowing me in this car, and uh, best of luck today. Thank you. Appreciate it very much.
I love this color. Even if you don't love this color on a McLaren, you love this color. My man, is this yours? This is mine. I'm going by the hat, but I'm thinking, yeah, um, unless your last name is McLaren. Probably not. Yeah, mine either. All right, so tell me what we're looking at here. Uh, we're looking at a McLaren 570S uh, with a ca full carbon fiber package. So this is the real freaking deal here. I love these cars. Everybody knows them for the doors and all that, but I, I want to I know here, man, to drive something like that, like, what do you do for a living? I'm an attorney. You're an attorney? Okay. okay. That's... I should have gone to law school. What am I doing with cars? All right, Xavier, thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, Giggs. My name's Eden Chavez. I'm originally from Mexico, but right now I stay in uh, Pasigula, Mississippi. Year, make, model, motor, and setup. It's a uh, 1993 Honda Civic. It has a LSB tech, B16 head, and uh, we got a C3. What transmission? It has a dog box PPG. What fuel and what engine management? It has, it's still on S300. What time are you trying to go for today? I'm trying to go 9 5. Like that, all right? <laughs> 